Russell says, build your own PC. Get a lot more for the same money. If you're too scared of getting it wrong, then watch. And links you to a YouTube video of a five-year-old building a computer so you feel extra shitty about yourself. Then Vida, or Vaida, I don't know how to pronounce that name, says, yes, it's so easy a caveman could do it. Real gamers build their own machines. Looks like someone wants to sell you car insurance while also making you feel shitty about yourself. In today's video, I'm weighing the pros and cons of building a custom PC versus buying a pre-built, VR-ready PC from an unbiased perspective. I'm aware this video will be highly offensive to some of you, and I look forward to receiving your strongly worded letters in the mail. If you're having a particularly slow day, you might consider going through the comments here and playing a round of Count the F-Bombs. What's better, custom building a computer or buying a pre-built virtual reality PC? There's not really a right answer here, but after watching this video, I hope you'll know which option is the right choice for you. I'll start by talking about the biggest pros to building your own PC. It's truly not that hard, so if that's the only reason that you're thinking about purchasing a pre-built PC, you should reconsider. With the help of a YouTube video or two, even a first-timer could build their own PC within a few hours and doing so has a lot of perks. Namely, you get to handpick every component in your computer so you can allocate resources to whatever features are most important to you. You'll almost always save at least a couple hundred dollars building your own PC versus buying something that's pre-built. And you can upgrade components one piece at a time whenever you want, then resell or save old components for future use. This is going to be particularly handy for virtual reality users when they want to upgrade their graphics cards. The options in a year or two will likely be considerably better than the options on the market as the Rift and Vive launch. If you've custom built your PC, it'll be easier to crack it open, swap out the graphics cards, and instantly enjoy your higher frame rate. Ultimately, you end up with a more powerful machine that's easy to upgrade at a lower cost when you build your own PC. That's a pretty strong argument, and I understand why so many techie people staunchly believe everyone that's capable should build their own PC. With all of that said, I think there are some points that are commonly missed when this debate takes place. I've seen a fair amount of vitriol in the virtual reality community towards those of us that chose to purchase an Oculus-ready PC. Many techies see it solely as a marketing ploy and act like the only reason to choose pre-built is if you're incapable or afraid of building your own PC. Personally, I've built computers in the past and still decided to buy an Oculus-ready ASUS for multiple reasons. If any of these resonate strongly with you, it's distinctly possible that buying a pre-built virtual reality PC is right for you. I want my virtual reality computer to be pretty compact and portable. This is possible for the more technically inclined, but when you buy smaller computer cases for powerful PCs, the increase in build complexity should be noted. Your choice of motherboard becomes even more important than before, and if you don't pay close attention to wire management and cooling, you could end up in over your head quickly. On a related note, the Asus G20CB that I purchased is significantly quieter than the cases I was considering for my custom build. Again, this is possible when you build your own PC, but you begin sacrificing the cost advantage quickly when you start buying specialty components. But the number one reason I purchased a pre-built PC rather than building one myself was the time savings. After the $100 bundle discount I qualified for through Oculus, the price difference was only about $150 for many of the same components like the processor and the video card. That was for a less attractive, bulkier case that was significantly louder thanks to the cooling fans. If I had upgraded those components to match the ASUS PC more closely, the cost savings would have been even less significant. 
Since I plan to keep my virtual reality computer in our living room, this was extremely important to me. When it came down to it, saving $150 just wasn't that important to me. I run three businesses and I value my time, so it was worth it to spring for a pre-built, even if I need to resell it and buy something new in a couple of years. So if your time means a lot to you, you want something attractive and fairly compact, but you're not that technical, or if you're just flat out not interested in building your own PC from scratch, buying a pre-built PC is likely the right choice for you. Hopefully you have a really good idea of which option is right for you after watching this video, or at the very least, see why these pre-built PCs are more than a marketing gimmick. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help. And if you're interested in more helpful videos about virtual reality, please don't forget to subscribe. My name is Ian, I am the Virtual Reality Ginger, and I'll see you all in another video soon.